Well, we are both our own film composers, and we both do our own work. Um, and those two films just happen to want us. So usually we work, we work on our own. We were introduced through a journalist that we both know, who lives here, Wyndham Wallace, an English um, journalist. Uh, I, I think I mentioned that I loved his music. And then he said, well, I don't know him, but I can introduce you. <laughs> and then we started uh, emailing and then I came down two years ago. And we, we made a song together, a different song than this one, and kind of hung out and been friends since then. Yeah, well, when we had written this song, I guess it would have been about... It's two years ago. Yeah, so it was like a year before we wrote mm -hmm. this one. And I've always loved her voice so much, and so it was really nice to just be able to work together. And then when the uh, director was looking for an end song, there was he he wanted something really specific. Well, not specific, but really special. And um, and I played him her music, and he really fell in love with her voice. And so we were able to to write this end song, and uh, yeah, he loved it. I got to see uh, uh, what you edit that wasn't completely done, but almost done, and that's how I started writing the lyrics from that. And uh, I got music from him, so I wrote lyrics and melody on top of his music. So I actually did see the film, like a, a, an early version of the film, before writing it. So I kind of had this, this the story and the character in my head writing the lyrics. Uh, actually, I haven't seen the original. I, w I, w I want to, but I have not yet. So this, this is a, the music was completely sp specifically for this film, and there was no other references. So it was really just about this story. Uh, with the editor of the film uh, works on a TV show that I did called Transparent, and she started putting some of my music in the film and the director kept asking who it was and so finally they got in touch with me and um, and I, I really loved the film I saw that I saw a rough cut and uh, I thought it would be a good I thought it would be a good match so I think well if it's your own music it's a little bit better because then you know it, uh, you connect with the emotionality of it quicker, but temp music can be a problem when it's not yours and the director falls in love with it and you have to somehow pull them away from this existing piece of music and have them create, and to be able to create something unique. And there was moments in this film that there was some temp love, that's what we call it, temp love. <laughs> but it was great, I finally, it took some time, but I pulled everything away and was able to create an original score that that was unique, I think, and fit the film really well. I, I think he, in the beginning it was, he's been more of a producer, he produced uh, Little Miss Sunshine and uh, a lot of indie films and he's been on that side but he hasn't been so much on the director side and uh, I think in the beginning we were trying to find a way to communicate and um, temp music in a way was his way of communicating to try to explain ideas but at some point he kind of let go and gave me a lot of space to just create the music and um, there was a moment where he just I don't know. At the, you know, I think he just realized that he trusted me and just let me go in there and kind of make the music I wanted. And in the end, it, a lot of times you're working on demos, but then you have to record it. And the, what happens between the demos and the recording is a huge leap in dynamics and emotion because then you're actually having real players play the score. So it really comes to life. So uh, once he heard the recorded score, he, he then you know he, he he fell in love with it. Well, I 
I think you can say it's a 50-50 kind of thing. The whole music, that, that the instrumentation of the music is Dustin. It's everything, it's his arrangement and the piano and everything. But the melody and the lyrics are mine. So I think that's kind of the two parts you need for a song, I guess. Yeah. So I think we've done it together. I don't play any instruments on it, I just sing. Each breath of air will never reach deep enough. It's a bottomless well of trust. Sometimes a dark can spread out like branches. We had a chorus change, actually, and it, it was a couple of days of just discussing back and forth, and it, it turned out better than I had started with, so it was a good input. Uh, well, that was, I, I had a concept that I was hoping would work, which was there's a re repeated motif that happens in the film, and I because the film, the journey is about this uh, woman who's a housewife. In she's about forty years old. She's it's it's she, it's a bit of a coming of age film, and she's discovering herself. So the idea was to have this motif that would grow and become more complex, and there would be more layers added, and then the last final scene would be actually voice coming into it and. I mean, it's a simple metaphor, but it's like her voice finally coming, you know, blossoming in the film. 
and so there's a repeated motif, and that's what we used for the song. So the music was actually already okayed by the director before we, we before I came in, yeah. in a way. So it was more of him accepting the melody and the lyrics, and it, it didn't really go that uh, a week or something. Yeah, I mean it was, but I had to kind of anticipate maybe what because I didn't know who would sing and I didn't know what they would sing yeah. and so I tried to create a piece of music that had space yeah. for vocals mm -hmm. and but you never know if it's going to work and and I remember when you sent me you sent me the music back I had it was so much better than I ever could have imagined and the way that you got found your way into it was was uh, it was it's really surprised me in the best way because I didn't expect it to be so like you found melodies in places that I hadn't heard so it was really uh, that's the good thing about color yeah. work yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't use that much brass in my writing but uh, it wasn't a color that really fit the film as well. It's about 35 minutes of music, which I think is, is, is a good amount. Uh, in the score, I think it was about, I don't know, maybe, well, in the film itself, there's about 25 pieces of music, but on the release, we, uh, it's probably 15, I think. I think. I have a, the CD I should look at. I should yeah, look. Yeah. 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 Yep. Fifteen. My memory is still there. <laughs> uh, well, that's the music supervisor. That's not my job. So the music supervisor is the one that finds the, the music that's played in the film and licenses it. So this was... When we wrote the song, it could have been a license. They, they were also looking for existing songs, but nothing was fitting the film because it just needed to hit so many subtle emotional points. And so I think that's why writing the song helped the film because sometimes if you just put a song on at the end, it feels like a television show. It just feels like, oh, there's the song. And uh, this made it special. Uh, well, the way that I play piano is, is maybe not so correct, but it's also the way that I play, and it's also very specific to how I play. And I've tried working with other musicians, and it, it's, it's hard for me to write the kind of my music and have somebody else play it because it feels, it doesn't, I don't know, I don't feel I'm getting the details. And my method is, using very little but trying to get a lot out of it and a lot of that is just the touch of the piano so it's easier for me to play it um i think well I, sometimes it's it's just thinking about it in your head it's uh, not seeing the picture sometimes picture puts you in the wrong direction because you want to write to the picture but you need to actually write music and uh i think I, you know, I think that maybe the picture influenced a little bit your words and your melodies. Mm, definitely. So. Well, at least the, the words. Your music inspired the melody. Mm. Yeah. But the words came from from actually experiencing the characters of the movie. Or the character, the main character. Silence. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's... Um, I guess so. Yeah, silence but, is but then a good place you put to start. And then you put on the music you need to write to. Yeah. So I guess those two elements. Yeah. I mean, I usually don't. Yeah, I usually don't listen to other music if I'm trying to write something. No. You know, mm -hmm. so you gotta clear your head. Uh, well, because you get it. he there was a uh, track that he helped write. We co-wrote together, uh, and I mean, film is a big collaboration, so you're getting uh, a lot of work in a little bit amount of time. So you know, you need a little bit of help sometimes. And this score we did in uh, wrote three weeks and recorded it and mixed it in a, in a week. Um, I think I, st I started from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. 
I started from the, the beginning, the first scene. Oh, I have just, I'm releasing in, in like two weeks a full symphonic orchestra album with the Swedish radio orchestra. That's my next big thing. <clears throat> and writing new music, lots of new music is my plan. Uh, I'm working slowly on a solo record and uh, I'm about to s start uh, another film the, in September. Uh, the director is Simon Curtis, a uh, British director. 